Like, the effort shown here in presenting this was basically zero, and I am not impressed. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing a brand new subscription tackle box, or at least brand new to me. I recently heard about a new subscription fishing tackle box and it's called Tackle Monkey. And so I ordered one to check it out. Uh, I had a code that allowed me to buy my first Tackle Monkey um, subscription box for $10. That's only if you sign up though for the recurring subscription. So I went ahead and did that knowing that I could cancel if I decided I didn't like the subscription. Uh, the normal price is $27.95 a month. So this is the Tackle Monkey box. It is a little bit narrower and a little bit longer than the others that we're used to, Mystery Tackle Box, Monster Bass, etc. Um, but it, you know, it looks like this, TM. And on the side here, TackleMonkey.com, uh, they've used papyrus font, and uh, it's black with dark gray. So that's what it looks like. There's no Tackle Monkey specific branding on the outside of the box at all, which I thought was kind of strange, to be honest with you. Um, but you know what? Let's open it up and see what we've got inside. I'm not here to hate on anybody starting a new business at all. I give anybody who wants to be an entrepreneur props. I personally have started two businesses and I built them to the scale at which I could actually sell them. So I've had two, I've been a founder twice and I've had two exits. Uh, I understand entrepreneurship is hard, believe me, okay? I went through a top tier startup accelerator. I have built significantly sized companies and I've raised millions of dollars in venture capital. I understand what it's like to be an entrepreneur. And one of the core things that I know about being an entrepreneur starting a business is you have to sell something people want. People definitely are interested in another subscription box option as Monster Bass's uh, great performance over their first year and a half has proven, right? Mystery Tackle Box is great and they have a huge lead in the market. However, Monster Bass has proven if you come out with something that has a specialized value proposition, Monster Bass is only bass and it's specifically baits chosen for your region and your time of the year, people will buy that. Tackle Monkey doesn't have a unique value proposition in my opinion. Literally, if you look at their website, it says, we only put in baits that work. Well, I should hope so. <laughs> I mean, that's that's kind of a low bar in my opinion. By the way, speaking of Monster Bass, if you want to save 15%, there's a code down in the description. Go and check out a really great fishing tackle subscription box. You will not be disappointed with Monster Bass, I promise you. Uh, inside the box is not printed on the inside and it doesn't have any flaps that fall out or anything like that. There's no information in here. There is a humongous Tackle Monkey sticker. This thing is massive. I have opened this up, by the way, to take a look inside. So there's some gray uh, tissue paper and then the contents of the box. So we're gonna go ahead and go piece by piece through the contents of the box and I'll give you my absolute unvarnished opinion about what I think of every item in this box. The first thing I see is this thing, the original steel shad. It's a blade bait with treble hooks that has a 3 8 ounce weight on it and uh, eyes. I gotta be honest with you, I've almost never seen these before. Like I've never seen anybody fish with them. I've, I've seen them a few times in like some old dusty tackle shops, but that's, that's it. Um, the retail price for this item I looked up and it's about $7. There are two Velcro straps with a piece of plastic. These are rod wraps, obviously. Um, <laughs> not in a package, not anything, no branding, nothing. They're not printed with Tackle Monkey. They're not, they're not branded in any way at all. They're just two pieces of Velcro thrown in the box. Um, the closest I could come up with for a value for these was about $5 for unbranded pieces of Velcro with a piece of plastic on them to wrap your rods. 
I'm not saying this isn't useful for some people, but like the effort shown here in presenting this was basically zero and I am not impressed. What's next? When I saw this, I, I didn't actually know it was a bait. I, I'm not sure I've ever seen a lure sold in a, an opaque package like this before. Uh, it's very strange to me. This is an Azuma Popper Z, the fish call. So it's a popper. Um, I did look this up because I've never heard of this company. I've never heard of this bait. This is what it looks like. It's, it's basically just a larger popper. Um, got a lot of rattle to it. Kind of an amber color. Um, it's got some flare here with, uh, with some hair and uh, good looking hooks. Hooks are nice and sturdy, sharp. I, I'm not a big popper fan personally. Um, and I certainly don't know that a large size popper is really right for autumn in New York. Uh, and I also think it's very strange to package any kind of fishing lure in packaging this not see-through. So, okay, Azuma Popper Z, uh, this retails for $9 at mass retail. But I have to tell you, I mean, how many of these do they sell at Bass Pro or wherever? they might be stocked. Zero, because you can't see what the item is. Like, I don't understand this. Three items. We are up to 14. We're up to $21 in value for three items. Only two of which are lures so far. The next item in here is, at least this is something that I've heard of before. Um, it is a Jenko Bates uh, deep diving silent crankbait. Uh, it is huge. Look at the size of this thing. Um, and the color is citrus shed. This weighs an ounce and it dives 20 feet. The likelihood of me ever throwing this ever is almost zero. Uh, just based on the way I fish. This is, this is not something that I'm going to use. As a matter of fact, you know what? If we can get this video to 100 likes, I'm going to do a giveaway. I will give away this this lure. As a matter of fact, I'll give you the whole box. I don't care. Um, let's get this video to 100 likes. Please share this with your friends. Show them that there are some honest reviewers out there reviewing these subscription services. And uh, I will give away the whole box. Maybe some of you will actually want it <laughs> more than I do. Uh, so anyway, this is a silent deep diver, dives 20 feet, and it's a one ounce lure um, from Jenko Fishing. Uh, in terms of value, this one lure is actually worth, you know, more than I paid for the whole box because I only paid 10 bucks, but the normal price would be $28 for the box. So far, we have three lures, none of which are relevant to the way I fish whatsoever. Um, and then we have some Velcro things. Let's see what else is in the box. This is actually kind of interesting. This is line cutters. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. This is a little ring that you can put on your finger or around maybe the butt of your rod or around some H rail on your kayak. Uh, and it has little blades inside that cut like braid or, or line. I actually like this because I, I like it enough that I actually already own a line cutters ring. Uh, I have a green one that somebody actually sent me as a gift, which was very kind of them. Um, this one is a branded Tackle Monkey line cutters ring. I like this. This is a great item. These retail for $13. Um, so, I mean, if I didn't already have one, I'd be stoked about this, but I do already have one. And honestly, I don't necessarily really want a Tackle Monkey branded anything based on my impression of this box. The last item. That is literally all she wrote. Uh, the last item is Buddha Bates, which, you know, okay, that's a good brand. Uh, Buddha Bait Soft Plastic. It is Baby Mama in Green Pumpkin. These are kind of a creature bait with lots of smell. Sort of a chunky craw. 
uh, in a great color, green pumpkin. This is honestly the only thing in the box that I would throw if I were keeping this box, but I'm not keeping this box because you guys are gonna help me get to 100 likes on this video and we're gonna give it away to one of you. Uh, this Buddha Bates, um, I, I would definitely throw these, but they are retailing for about $5. So honestly, for me, the way I fish in my area, um, the most relevant thing in this whole box was five bucks worth of soft plastics. You guys, I don't know. I mean, that's literally all that's in here. <laughs> There's nothing else. Look at that. No, no marketing material. No, thank you for your purchase. No, nothing. A giant tackle monkey sticker, one bag of soft plastics, three hard baits that aren't particularly adapted to the season or my location. These things, and then the cool line cutters ring. That's it. That's all she wrote. That's the box. Just a one quick update I wanted to also mention is that since I filmed my video, I actually went and watched a couple of unboxings of other people's Tackle Monkey boxes for October. And it looks like uh, other people got like orange tissue paper and little skulls and some candy and uh, stuff that actually was relevant to Halloween or October or seasonality. They also got completely different baits and, and items in their boxes than I did. Uh, no similarities whatsoever. They were getting lipless cranks and spinner baits and things that you might actually want to throw in the fall. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know why I got this, this assortment of stuff. It's kind of weird. It, it looks like a lot of people got completely different stuff than I did. And I did not get any sort of Halloween box. I got this, you know, gray paper and no, no nothing. I, I might've been nicer if I'd gotten some candy. <laughs> That is my honest review of Tackle Monkey. I'm not telling you don't buy it. I'm telling you I would not buy it. Take that for what it's worth. Take my opinion with a grain of salt, just like you should take anybody else's opinion. But I wanted to share my thoughts with you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Just take one quick second, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to hit the notification bell too so you never miss it when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you later.